When I gave the thread the opportunity to vote on which path they'd like to see first, the support behind the Demon's Powers path was borderline unanimous, and I have to say I'm not surprised in the slightest. Let's get this started, shall we? This stage is honestly not overly complicated, and the fights are pretty much made entirely trivial thanks to the demon's powers. The forest in the center of the map has pretty much been turned into a desert, and in order to turn it back, we have to step into the whirlwinds and fight the wraiths inside. You can't continue on to the next section until you clear the one you're in, and only one of the sandstorms is the actual one you have to fight. The others are just there to waste your time, they're decoys, I can't really complain about that, seeing as how easy it is to wreck everything, so they needed a way to lengthen the level. I'm sure you're going to come to notice a small trend on this path. At no point during any of these stages can I buy any new equipment. And, in fact, I won't actually earn anything new until the very end of it all. But, we'll see it when we get there. I'd also like to note that I've never remembered which sandstorm is the one I'm actually supposed to enter, so I'm just kind of choosing them randomly. I don't mean to waste your time, but for now, let's just chalk this up to being as part of the Half Minute Hero experience. Another thing I'd like to mention is that there's no real benefit to lifting the curse off the whole forest, nor visiting either town. You could make a direct beeline right to the Evil Lord, and honestly, I'd probably recommend it if you don't feel like taking as long as I am. You bring that back right now!
Professor, just just stop lying to me. I hope you like reading, because this is one of the most text-heavy quests in recent memory. It's also full of fetch quests, too, so there's that. Isn't this world root everything you guys have ever dreamed of? Well, you know what? Nuts to all this. I'm super powerful, and the evil lords are just right there, so let's just get this over with. You didn't think it would be that easy, did you? In order to proceed, we have to help at least half the villagers in each town with their problems. But since I just love showing everything off, of course, I'm going to do all the quests they give me. Thankfully, the quests are incredibly short. In fact, I would safely bet that about 80% of the time spent on this stage is wasted on talking. The evil lords talk a lot, the villagers won't stop nagging you with their problems, and it all just adds up to taking forever. Seriously, like, I timed this! The whole stage from intro to end takes about 10 minutes, and the results screen says that only about a minute and a half of that is spent on actual gameplay. Don't get me wrong, I totally love the idea of this stage, but I just think that the villagers have a bit too much exposition for their fetch quests.
We're a quarter of the way there, folks. I could just go right up and destroy one of the evil lords right now, but I am determined to show you guys everything this game has to offer. One village down, one to go. At least I can do all of these quests in one outing. I guess I should mention now that, no, there's actually no benefit to doing all the extra quests you don't need to do, unless you're really into the end of stage titles, because that's all you get! And now I just gotta dick around until dusk. Might as well get some money and experience under my belt in the meanwhile. Finally, we can put an end to this stage. And of course, seeing as we've got the demon strength, the evil lords are an absolute joke.
Damn it, woman! Get back here! Professor, please, just stop lying to me. Okay, this stage is going to be fast, because if I want to get the super secret optional item of the quest, then I'm on a real time crunch. If you notice during the intro, when a rock hits the ground, it creates a hole. If I reverse time at any point, the holes in the stage go away, and I need a specific one to stay open until I complete a majority of the stage. Problem is, the first thing I need to do in the stage is to stop the rocks from falling in the first place. So Boone here can move back to town and make more bombs for me, and I need more bombs to get around. Larry. The specific crater I need doesn't get created until the clock hits 22 seconds, so that's why I didn't hit the mole until then. As I mentioned before, with Boon back in the village, he can make more bombs for me, which is great because I need two more to access the treasure of this stage if I want to be able to pay the Time Goddess to save me from the demon.
5 million gold down, 5 million more to go. But I'm starting to run short on time, so I gotta pick up the pace. With both of these treasures down, I can access a super secret optional, you will never find this unless you follow a guide treasure. You can only come down here after finding the first two, and only if the crater in the ground is here in the first place. And with that, my time crunch is over, and I have the liberty to start training to fight the Evil Lord. It may not immediately seem like there was any point to getting that third treasure, but trust me, you'll see soon enough. And finally, our reward. If there was anything I could peg as the most easily missable thing in the game, it would most likely be this, but the spoils are entirely worth it. The weapon isn't the most useful thing in the game, but the bonehead and the anima plate are two pieces of equipment I will be wearing for time to come. Hold on a moment. What if I never found the treasure in the first place? <laughs> 